everyone. It means they can have welcome you to online monastic classes. Today we will discuss about first chapter of geometry. First video of all this theorem of his, this exercise has completed a study. Now today we will start with some numerical problem which asked in SE exercise, SEE, and you can find this question in practice book, in your book, or any other places. We have questions that can be done here and same type of question you have to do in your home for your homework. Let's start today's class. Look the first figure. In all these figures, we have to find the area of triangle A and C. In first figure, what you can see? Triangle name ABD. AD is perpendicular on BD. C is the point here, and M is the midpoint of A. We have to find the area of triangle AMC. BC is given 6M and AD is given 8C. Let's start the solution. Question number 1A. What you have to remember? When such type of question is asked, you start always with drawing the figure and you must use pencil, a scale, compass, whatever required to draw the figure. The first we have to draw the figure. That's the triangle linkage A, B, D. Here one of the point it is C and M is the mid point of we have to find the area of this triangle that's perpendicular that's 8cm and that's 6cm So what we have to use here, first thing we have to know which type of triangle is triangle ABD. You have learned on the basis of angle there, there are three types of triangles. That is acute angle triangle, right angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle. Here, triangle ABC is an obtuse angle triangle. And you know that area of a triangle is 1 pi 2 base into part. Here, we have the base 6 cm and height 8 cm. So, we can find the area of triangle ABC. Area of Triangle ABC is equal to 1 by 2. Base in this figure, base is 6 here. That is BC. And height is this, that is AD. When you are doing these things, you also have to write the region. So you can write there area of a triangle is equal to 1 by 2 base into height. Now in this figure, what is the base? Base is 6 cm. So, in place of BC, you can write 6 cm there. 
and in place of height e that is 8 cm now you can solve it came 24 cm square then we have the area of triangle abc is 24 cm square here is m that's the midpoint of it it means cm is the median the median bisects or triangle that's one of the points which we have to remember the here to find out the area of triangle area of triangle a m c this will be the half of the area of triangle a b c the region is median bisects or triangle we can write median cm bisects triangle abc now substitute the value 1 by 2 into 24 cm square the result is 12 cm square. Let's see from the beginning. First of all, we have find the area of triangle ABC using the formula half base into half. We must have to take care when it is obtuse angle triangle. In obtuse angle triangle, one of the Altitude lies outside the triangle. Here base is 6 cm and height is 8 cm. Substituting the value of BC and AD, we got the area of triangle ABC. One of the properties of triangle we have to remember here: median biceps or triangle. In triangle ABC, CM is the median. So this part, that is area of triangle AMC, is half of the area of triangle ABC, and from above that's 24 cm square. And solving, we got the result. In this way, we have completed our first question. In rest, all the question of number one, all are seen. You can do this question. In your home. Look the second one. Nothing changed, only the values are changed, same figure. Now it is 8 cm and it is 12 cm. Exactly the same here in place of 6 and 8, values are changed. Here it looks like a little bit different, but not many more. First of all, what you can see that's 20 cm. Here it means that this is also 8, it means BE is 16 cm. The BE is 16, BD is 6, 20 cm, and that's a right angle triangle. So you can find the third side using x square equal p square plus b square. Then finding the value of ED, we can find the area of triangle EAT. Base is 8 cm and height it will come to F C. We got the area of triangle E80. Then in this triangle that's the midpoint. That's why we can find the area of triangle A D M half of the area of triangle E80. Again in triangle A M C that's the midpoint. So we can find the area of triangle A M C half of the area of triangle D80. After finding the area of triangle E80 two times we have to apply the condition median biceps or triangle. In this way, you can do all these questions of number one. In D, that's the more easier than previous one. AC is 12 cm and GE is 5 cm. In this figure, you can see that's the base and that's height. In this way, you can find the area of triangle ABC. 
and maybe a bisector triangle that's why the area of triangle ABC will be 2 times the area of triangle ACD. Now come to the question number 2, type 2 question. In type 2 question, here is the figure. In quadrilateral ABCD, one of the diagonal and two of the altitude drawn from the vertex A and C are given in the figure. We have to find out the area of quadrilateral. That's the easiest question. You know that area of a quadrilateral is 1 by 2 base area of a quadrilateral is 1 by 2 diagonal into sum of offset that is 1 by 2 p d into p1 plus p2 type 2 question number a It is given BD equal ACM. So BD equal that's the diagonal equal ACM. One of the four perpendicular A AM is six and BM CM is three. Here mean is written in opposite order. If we correct, it will be n. It is n. We can write a n. That is first perpendicular is six cm and cm second perpendicular is three cm. You have to. Use the area of a quadrilateral ABCD equal one by two into diagonal name is BD into AN plus CN. We have the formula area of a quadrilateral is equal to 1 by 2 diagonal into sum of offsets now substitute the value 1 by 2 multiply bd is 8cm that is 6 cm, 3 cm, put the values there, 4 cm into 9 cm, it came 36 cm square. Look again, one of the diagonal and two of the perpendiculars are given. We have to find the area of the quadrilateral. For this, we have to use the formula 1 by 2 diagonal into P1 plus P2, or you can write in this way 1 by 2 diagonal into sum of offsets. And substituting the value, you will get the result. And all the question in type 2, you have the same model question, but here a little bit different. What you can find that is 4 times AM is 12 CM. It means AM is 12 by 4, that is 3 cm. Again, 2 times CN is 12 cm. It means CN is 12 by 2, that is 6 cm. And PD is 12 cm. Rest you have to do in the same way. Again, 
Here, same thing it is 3 times Rb is 6cm. It means Rb will be 6 by 3, that is 2cm. 2 times Pa equals 6, again Pa will be 6 by 2, 3cm, and Qs is 6. So you can do now type 1 and type 2 question. Come to the type 3. Look the question number 3 e. A, B, C, D is a rhombus. And area of triangle A, D, B is given. And one of the diagonal is given. We have to find the length of another diagonal. You know that area of a rhombus is 1 by 2 diagonal in 1 by 2 d1 into d2 that is product of the diagonals. Using this, we can find the area in which one of the diagonal is given. If we know the area of rhombus, then we can find the another diagonal. Look the question type 3, first question. Here in figure. A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Given things are area of triangle A, D, B is equal to 15 cm square and GB is equal to 6 cm. We have to find AC equal. The first thing we know that diagonal bisects of parallelogram. And same rule will be followed in either it is rhombus, either it is rectangle, either it is a square. Because before rhombus it must be a parallelogram. Before rectangle it must be a parallelogram. A square must be a parallelogram. That will be followed in all of these. But that's the diagonal. This triangle area is known. So we can write area of Rambush A B C D equal two times area of triangle A D B. The region is triangle bisects a rhombus. Now substituting the value 2 into 15 cm square. That is 30 cm square. The here we have already find the area of rumbus. Now we can apply the area of rumbus formula. That is 1 by 2 d1 into d2. Here for us, D1 is AC and D2 is BD. Area of a rhombus equal 1 by 2 D1 into D2. Substituting the value of area of a rhombus that is 30 cm square equal 1 by 2 value of AC is unknown to us value of BD we can write in place of BDTP when it is already given BD will be not long here we can write now 6 cm 2 3 is 6 cm then solving it AC is equal to 30 cm square by 3 cm AC is equal to 
chain CM. Again, let us start from the beginning. Area of triangle AB chi pi. In this figure, ABCD is a parallelogram. And area of parallelogram is given 60 cm square. We have to find the area of triangle ABC. Also, we have to find the area of triangle CDO. ABCD is a parallelogram. AC and BG diagonal intersect at O. Here, area of parallelogram ABCD is 60 cm square. First of all, we have to find the area of triangle ABC. We will use the diagonal properties area of triangle ABC will be half the area of parallelogram ABC because diagonal bisects of parallelogram diagonal bisects of parallelogram that's why it is 30 cm and we know that diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. It means O is the midpoint of both of the diagonal AC and BG. O is the midpoint of AC, it means DO is the median. We have to find the area of this triangle. We can write now area of triangle CDO is equal to half of the area of triangle ADC that is median bisects of triangle now it is 1 by 2 multiply 30 cm square that is 15 cm square, that's our result. Same question is there in question number 3. You can do now the type 5 question. Coming to the type 6, that's the question related to trapezium. You know the formula of trapezium 1 by 2. Sum of parallel side multiplied by height. In question number one, is question number six a. All the things are given to parallel side and height. Just using the formula, substituting the value you will do. But in B C, you have to do little bit different. That's why I would like to solve the question number B from type six. Here. In trapezium A, B, C, D is our trapezium, angle B is 90 degree, A, B and C, G are parallel, that's 10 cm, that's 17 cm, that's 18 cm. We have to start with construction. What we have done? If I name it P, the AP perpendicular is drawn. AP perpendicular to CD is drawn. When you look this figure A, B, C, P, now it is a rectangle. And you know the opposite side of rectangle are equal. Therefore, 
A, B, C, P is a rectangle. And opposite side of rectangle will be equal. So we can write A, P is equal to B, C and PC is equal to AB that is 10 cm being opposite sides of a rectangle. It is given CD is 18 cm. So we can find the DP equal DC minus PC that is 18 cm minus 10 cm that is 8 cm. Now in this right angle triangle, A, P, D, hypotenuse is known for us, one of the side is known, then we can find the other side, in right angle triangle, A, P, D, A, P is equal to AD square minus DP square that is 17 cm whole square minus 8 cm whole square that is 17 square is 289 8 square is 64 Subtracting so, these two, we get 225. Doing the square group, we will get the result 15 cm. So, why we have done all these? As you know, what's the formula of area of trapezium? 1 by 2 sum of parallel side and height. The here sum of parallel side. Parallel sides are known to us, but height is not known. That's why we have done. Now, this AP is the height. And now, using the formula of area of trapezium ABCD is equal to 1 by 2 sum of parallel side that is AB plus CD into height is A. That is area of trapezium equal 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides multiplied height. Now substitute the value. 1 by 2 AB is 10 cm CD is 18 cm and AB is we have find AP that is 15 cm 1 by 2 into 28 cm do the simplify and doing the multiply that is 210 cm square what we have done in this field of first of all we have done a construction from A quadrangular is drawn and now this figure is a rectangle in rectangle opposite sides are equal so PC became 10 cm DP is equal to 18 minus 10 that is 8 two of the sides of a right angle triangle are known then find the third side and finally use the formula of area of trapezium that's it so we have completed the type 6 question. In type 6, there are more questions. In this figure question number C, again you have to do the construction from B, you have to draw the perpendicular, then you can solve this question. Now look at the type 7. Shave and B. Let's draw the figure P Q R S and A is the G.
In the given figure, PQRS is a parallelogram and area is given. Area of parallelogram PQRS is 32 cm square. We have to find the area of triangle SPQ. Means this line will be joined. SPQ. And we have to find the area of triangle PQ. Area of triangle SPQ. Area of triangle PQT. Look in the figure. We have the area of parallelogram PQRS. This triangle SPQ, diagonal bisector parallelogram. Using that, we can find area of triangle SPQ is half the area of parallelogram PQRS. Half of 32 cm square, it means it can 16 cm square. Triangle bisects of parallelogram. Then we have to find the area of triangle PQT. Now you can see these two triangles are on the same place and between same parallel lines. So we can use area of triangle PQT is equal to area of triangle SPQ that is 16 cm square. Reason is triangles standing on the same base on the same base and between the same parallel lines are equal in area in this figure area of parallelogram is given we have to find the area of triangle SPQ then we have to find the area of triangle PQT you can see in PQRS that's the diagonal using the diagonal properties here diagonal bisects of parallelogram triangle SPQ area is half of the area of parallelogram PQRS now these two triangles are on the same base and between the same parallel lines that's why area of these two are equal and next question is exactly the same you can do the question coming to the question number eight in question number eight you can see of analog and its name is A, B, C, D. And one of the points E is on the line segment A, D. From E, E, F or perpendicular is drawn on B, C. These two sides are equal. Try A. Given things are BE is equal to EC, EF is perpendicular to BC, BE is equal to TCM, and AD is equal to 16CM. Area of Parallelogram ABC is to what? Here you can see that's the isosceles triangle. 
two sides are known to you. That's 10 cm, 10 cm. And that's the 16 cm deep. And it's a parallelogram. In parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. It's a parallelogram. In parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So BC is equal to AD. BC is equal to AD, that is 16 cm. That is being opposite sides of a parallelogram. Opposite sides of a parallelogram. Now we can directly use the formula of area of isocellular triangle, then we can also solve. Instead of that, we can use this also here. BF is half of DC. That is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex. From the vertex to the base. By the, per the perpendicular drawn from the vertex to the base of an isosceles triangle bisects the base. It means DC is 16 here. So we will get the value of BF. Now it's a right angle triangle using in right angle triangle BFE. We can find the side EF that is x square minus b square, h square minus b square. Here name is BE square minus BF square. BB is 10 and it's 8. That's equal to 100 cm square minus 64, 36 cm square equal to 6 cm. What we have got that is height. Now in this parallelogram. Area of parallelogram ABCD is equal to base into height. That is, area of a parallelogram is equal to base into height. Now substitute the value. Base is BC pair 60 cm. And height is 6 cm to the multiply. Here, what we have done? First, opposite side of parallelogram are equal. So, value of BC is also 16 cm. It's an isosceles triangle and perpendicular is drawn from the vertex to the base. So, it will bisect the base. That's why the value of BF is half of the BC. And in this right angle triangle, two of the sides are known, that's why we can find the third side. Then finally, we have used the area of triangle ABC, area of parallelogram ABCD. Instead of that, finding the area of triangle BC using the formula of area of an isosceles triangle, if the area of triangle is known, then area of parallelogram will be the double of this what matter can be applied. With this, we have completed the type 8 question. Now, look in the type 9. In type 9, first question. A, B, C, D. It is given 
A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. P is the midpoint. Area of parallelogram is A, B, C. Area of parallelogram A, B, C, D. Area of parallelogram A, B, C, D is 24 cm square. We have to do construction. We have to find the area of quadrilateral ABC. For this, we have one of construction A and C are joint. Now you know that diagonal bisector of parallelogram, so we can find area of triangle ACD is equal to half the area of parallelogram ABC that is 1 by 2 into 24 cm square is equal to 12 cm square now E is the midpoint so area of triangle ADE is 1 by 2 area of triangle ACD 1 by 2 into 12 cm square that is 6 cm square now finally area of quadrilateral A B C E is equal to area of parallelogram A B C D minus area of triangle A G E that is 24 cm square minus 6 cm square equal 15 cm in place of this we can also do in this way first we can find the area of triangle ABC that will be equal with this then half of this is there and getting these two we will get the area of triangle ABC in this way we have completed question number 9 now the last one the question number 10 we have PQRS is a parallelogram. PR is a diagonal and QT is perpendicular to That's a parallelogram. V and D is area of triangle PSR is 16 times root 3 cm square and PR is AFC we have to find the length of QT you know that diagonal bisect of parallelogram so area of for the triangle PQR and area of triangle PSR are same that is diagonal by six. That is sixteen root three cm square. And you have the formula of area of triangle one by two base into height. Base is PR and height is QT. And now in the value here, area of triangle PQR. Area of triangle PQR is 16 times root 3 cm square. Value of PR is known to us that is 8 cm. QT equal 4 root 3 cm. 
GM. Here you are, quite trendy. Equal one by two base into height. Here, India was trying to give ESR unknown to us. You know that diagonal biceps of abelogram, it means area of these two triangles are equal. So, area of triangle PQR is also 16 root 3. And then use the formula of area of triangle, that is 1 by 2 base into height, and substitute the value and solve. That's your result. <laughs>